there haven't been too many opportunities for Chelsea so far in this game, but Carter on the ball now. That's a lovely through ball to Pardew. She gets the shot away there, Harder. Just allowing her body to open up to get the shot away. With a goal at her mercy, but it whispers just wide. West Ham with the ball bobbling in and around the box there. It's hooked towards goal. The clearance there, read well by Carter. Deflection falls to Fleming. Fleming with a first time pass into the path of Frank Kirby. Frank Kirby with acres of room. Will she take the shot first time though? She decides to square it. It's a goal for Chelsea. They have broken the deadlock. Great unselfish play from Kat Frank Kirby there. And Chelsea have the advantage. Pernell Harder in the right place at the right time to slot the ball beyond the West Ham goalkeeper. Chelsea's front line combining to dangerous effect. Harder will be very, very grateful to her teammate Kirby there for having the instinct and the execution to find her. West Ham, the hooked ball into the box. It's bouncing around that area. It's looking really, really dangerous, but Berger off her line and she needed to be to smother the ball at the feet of the West Ham forward. Danger signs for West Ham as they try to find a way back into this game. The hosts showing their threat and that's a mistake by Ingle. Walker charging forwards, finds her teammate. Skakova gets the shot away and that is the equaliser. It had been coming, it's been a dominant phase for the hosts. And Skakova getting the space, finding the shot and leaving Berger rooted to the floor to give West Ham the equaliser and their route back into this tie. Kirby exchanges passes with Ingle. Anderson with a great delivery in and Cuthbert heads Chelsea ahead in this tie. She rose highest beyond Flackerty there. We don't see her score too many with her head, but Cuthbert doing the business. Fleming back heels to Kirby. Kirby with a lovely little shot away there. And Harder's scooping up the seconds and she slots the ball home. It's that combination once more. Fleming with a deft little ball back to her teammate Kirby. Kirby forces a fine save and Harder is there to get her second and nudge Chelsea further ahead. Anderson in there, she finds Harder. It's a hat-trick for Harder. She's worked so hard throughout this tie and she has nudged Chelsea even further ahead. The substitute on the ball now for West Ham. Evans drives towards square to ball back and she cuts it across and Hussein is there. Fox driving, knew where her teammate would be and the substitute of her second touch of the ball gets West Ham a second. Emma, congratulations, you've not played for over a month now. Yeah. How did it feel to come back with a 4-2 win away at West Ham? Oh my goodness, it's so nice to play a game of football. We, I think the first half it looked like we hadn't played for a month. I thought we were really rusty. There didn't seem to be a lot of aggression in and out of possession in, in our performance. Not that there was anything too much wrong, but not our best standard. Um, second half, completely different. Beast, I think we adapted to what we'd asked them to do at half-time and looked much more like us, I thought. You know, everything, the quality of the goals, the quality of the performance, we upped our levels and that's what we needed to do. And Penila arrived determined mm. and was rewarded with the hat-trick. Was it great to see her on top form tonight? I thought Penila had a fantastic game. And she set the tone from the start. I thought her and Fran, their relationship improved the longer the game went on. I thought she found a lot of the right spaces, especially the second half. I thought her quality in and out of possession, you know, was excellent. And Erin's got also energised the team, it felt. Good to see her managing to score as well. Yeah, we need players to step up. Like, this is the, right now, we need players to step up and contribute more goals to the team. And that's the challenge I've set for them behind the scenes that we need more goals coming from different players. And they answered their manager. So, really happy for the team. 
and she's only been with us for two weeks and today, today Alsu made her Chelsea yeah, that's amazing. debut. I'm so happy for her. Like it took about 10 minutes to translate everything, but what an energy she's got. She's infectious, she's willing to learn, she's, she's keen. Um, so happy she made her debut. The girls are happy for her and we're gonna have to because we've only got, you know, 15 players at the minute. And a big run of games ahead with Brighton up next. What are you expecting from Hope Powell's side? Mm, always a tough game. Brighton has been a tough game for us over the years. Like, It's important for us that we recover, get our focus on that, because I know that we have to start to compete strong in the league again, and all of our minds and our attention will go to that game. So, Penilla, a hat-trick for you tonight. What's your take on the performance this evening? Uh, yeah, I think... Uh, we show how we can play football in the second half. Uh, first half wasn't good from us, uh, but we uh, we had a good talk in the in the half time, and I think we yeah we played more free in the second half, a lot of movement, and uh, yeah I think we played some good football in the second half. And how did it feel to be back out there after such a long time without a game? Yeah, it was so nice. I think we all were a little bit nervous uh, to start, and that might explain the first half. But uh, yeah. It was really nice, it was fun to play and we, we have missed it, uh, so yeah, it was nice to finally play again. And talk us through your goals, especially that first one, the um, assist from Fran. Yeah, yeah, that's a, that's a Fran assist, <laughs> I think she makes a lot of those assists, uh, like yeah, great run from her, um, I think she got a good pass from Jesse. I'm not sure. But yeah, uh, yeah, then great pass to me and I just had to put it in, it was, not the, it was one of the easy ones for me. And through to the semi-final, how do you feel about that? Yeah, it's really nice. Uh, it's a uh, yeah, another it's a title we want to win. Um, so being in the semi-final is important. And it's a quick turnaround with fixtures, straight back to the league action on Sunday against Brighton. How do you feel ahead of that game? Yeah, now we feel good after the second half. Uh, we can put some confidence on that, and yeah, just build on.